What's up, boys and girls? Howdy, howdy, howdy. No, I don't have a top secret thing I'm hiding over here. I'm trying to get this leather here dry. This side's already kind of sort of dry where I want it at. Uh -oh. Here we go right here. Here's what we're fixing to do. Make some of those right there. Basically what these are gonna be are handles for some kitchen uh, drawers and cabinets or whatever you wanna call them. I've got right here, this is called an embosser. It embosses leather as opposed to hand tooling or hand stamping like you do with something like this. These are all punched one, one at a time. But because she needs 19 of these, uh, of the four I just showed you, we're going to do this simply because it would be kind of sort of cost prohibitive for me for me to hand tool something like these just people don't aren't going to spend that kind of money for kitchenware kitchen uh handles but anyway what i've been doing is letting these case I soaked them in water last night, wrapped them up in plastic, stuck them in the refrigerator, and I'm hoping they hurry up and dry up to the perfect temper. In the meantime, I've got these drying. These are drying. I'll be tooling them here in a little bit. And what else have I got going on here? Got these going on some caps. They're drying. Oh, you can't see all the way over here, can you? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got a cap done. And, you know, I foolishly, silly me, sent a picture of the cap. Or not even the cap, but just the piece I, I tooled for the cap to a young lady who asked me to make this for her husband. As a surprise. Well, guess what? I can put it on Facebook now because guess what? She done showed her freaking husband, silly woman. <laughs> but I got to put that on a cap here in a minute too. But I think these are going to be... Whew, not quite. So I'm, I'm stalling, people. I'm stalling. Let me show you the machine over here at least. Uh while we're stalling for that to get a little bit drier. That, that casing's gotta be just at the right. And if you look way down there at that end, it's perfect. But it's down here at this end, I'm trying to hurry up and get dried up a little better. This first one looks good. And that is why I had these covered up here like that a minute ago. So that this end will dry, that dry, that's dry enough. But anyway, I picked this thing here up, this roller. When I was in Yoakum a couple of, oh, way back in January already. Basically, you just put your leather through there like that. Like this one here was already. It'll leave that impression on it. And then I'll run it through my edger over there, which I might show you. And then I'll cut it. Uh, into the sizes that she wanted. I also got a basket stamp one I can use, but uh, that one there, I haven't used that one in a while. I made some belts with those. Sold a few of them. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and try this first one here because it looks pretty good and dry. 
So let's see if I can get this camera back where it was. And then we'll show you some excitement. Because I know y'all tune in just for some excitement. I know you don't tune in just to hear me cuss and stuff like that. There's a saddle I'm working on. Haven't done much with because I'm still waiting on stuff. But uh, what else have I got? There's my big old sewing machines. But let's take this piece here. Now this side down here don't matter. This will be the cutoff side, what I don't use. can't see it, but I gotta put my foot down here, and that applies pressure. And then I pull it out just like that. See how that's got a tone to it now? Of course, my arms in the way, huh? Danny, it takes two arms to get that roll to there, don't it? There it is. See there? Almost looks like a belt, don't it? Of course, let me get it up closer for you. That's the perfect type of casing you want. See how that's got a two-tone look to it now? Hello, Landon Robles. So now, let's see what I need to do here. All right, I'm going to move the camera so everybody hang on. Hang on. Hang on. That chair don't need to be there, but anyway, now I got this machine we're going to run it through. Basically, what this thing here does is, let me get around. This is why I'm looking for a bigger place, because I'm pretty much out of room. i got to do these here pretty quick, too, or I'll lose that, that perfect temper or perfect wetness content. So now, we'll take this right here. Just that, where it's a snug fit. Can y'all see? I hope so, because here we go. Ta-da! There, I've rounded off my edges. So now, Next thing we're gonna do, turn the camera. Oh, where can I put the camera at over here, man? Come here. Howdy! How the hell are you? See why I need more room? <laughs> put that right about there. And we'll take this one here. I don't need that extension cord there. And come over here and turn this on. This will harness the edges now.
don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. Put the flash to it. So what that does is it slicks down or smooths out those edges. I'll come do the, you can tell the difference right there. It's not near as shiny. But these I'm going to go back on top of with a little bit of chocolate covered or chocolate colored dye. So it gets the whole side there colored the same. So now, after I do that, basically all I got to do is cut them. So there you go, David Mills Saturday. Toodaloo, you bunch of buckaroos.